Hey guys, RC here. So we're back with episode four, Music Wars Empire. Uh, first couple episodes were centered around our band Iron Maiden. They are a band that we signed after doing some searching. Uh, one thing I do, well, so what we're going to do in this episode, I've, I've played ahead a little bit. You can see we're December 6th. I've tried to put the blue background up here just to help out with the screen clutter. Um, as I mentioned in episode one, unfortunately, I cannot get the game screen any bigger. So my apologies. Uh, I did try in my editing software to shrink the recording and, and move this up into the corner up here. And but that left a, a big gap on the uh, viewing. So that would have looked like crap. So this is the best I can do unless some of you guys have some ideas. So uh, anyway, I hope this helps a little bit uh, in trying to view it. So what we're going to do is catch up on what I've been doing uh, in the game up to this point. Uh, you can see we are down to $6.3 million. We have a new band that we have uh, gone out and discovered and have them working away, slaving away in the uh, recording studios to make us some money, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, so let's get into it. So if we take a look at our band, well, first off, uh, we did get a question. Uh, and I do want to give credit to who asked the question. That would be uh, Cody Cameron. Uh I don't know if he subscribed. I hope he did, but uh, he did view, and that's appreciated big time. But Cody uh, downloaded the game on Steam and was trying. I don't know if the fact that I had a band called Iron Maiden was throwing him off, uh, but he said, I can't figure out how to get real bands and labels to come up in the game. The game does not have real entities in the game. Uh, so that's the short version. The long version is if you go to the manu uh, developer's website, there are some user created mods. And I did go, uh, you know, when Cody asked the question, I did take some time to go and look around. Uh, there are some real world projects. Uh, the guy that's doing them or the girl who's doing them, I have no idea because I can't tell based on their screen name. Let me turn that a little bit. There we go. Uh, are on their third version of the real world. And evidently it has real bands, real labels, real songs. I don't know how widespread it is. I don't know what genres it covers. I just imagine that would be an endless project. <laughs> so um, I don't know if it would entail past uh, albums and songs, no clue. So I didn't get into that much, but, uh, there, there are, there is an option there, at least if you're looking for something like that to add into your game, uh, there are instructions on how to install it into your game, uh, on the developer website under the mod category. So if you're interested in that more power, I'm not going to use it. I just don't see the reason to muck up what I'm doing. <laughs> not that it's not cool. You know, I'd love to have the real pictures. Also, you remember we talked about the uh, the, the uh, artist logo here? Well, it doesn't look like I can edit that. But uh, there is in your game folder, uh, there is a, a section for record labels. And you can resize... And that's what it was. You remember I said mine took up like this whole corner. It was like huge and I couldn't see anything. You can resize it yourself and then put it into the folder and it'll work. Uh, so anyway, that's an option as well. It doesn't look like I can edit that. So pfft, tough on me. I will have to uh, possibly look at doing that in a future save. So let's get into the bands. So first off, we have signed a band called Heart. Uh, we can look at them. Let's take a look at the profile and the members. Of course, uh, if you're not familiar with Heart, you should definitely check them out. Uh, they started in the 1970s. Uh, they're based out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, the heart of the group is uh, Anne and Nancy Wilson, two sisters. Uh, Anne is the lead singer. 
and Nancy is the lead guitarist. They have three male, uh, three male backing band members that have been with the band forever. Uh, and they're not, the, you notice it's not the Wilsons or anything else. It is Hart. They have some really heavy tunes like Barracuda. Um, they were, they had a really huge album in the 1980s. Um, but they've got Dreamboat Annie was their first album. A lot of good stuff from Hart. Uh, so definitely, definitely check them out. Uh, if you haven't, you might like it. You might not. But if you like hard rock, uh, you will probably like Hart. Uh, very, very talented uh, musicians as well. So let's take a look at the members. So first off, we have, uh, of course, I cannot edit the names. I could probably go into the database and try to do that. Uh, but then that corrupts the database, I guess, or screws the database up for future playing. But uh, let's take a look at Marcella Cunningham. Uh, she is the Ann Wilson of the band. She's 22 years old. Uh, she has a net worth of minus $4,000. Uh, now, this says she's from New England. That's fine. Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, but she is a singer. And uh, so we have signed her. Uh, she is A- minus on vocals. She's A+. Plus. Oh, uh, Google Heart Stairway to Heaven. They did a cover live of Stairway to Heaven um, in New... Uh, I forget where it was at, but uh, the three surviving members of Led Zeppelin were being honored. They were there. Um, they literally gave uh, Hart a standing ovation. Uh, and you know, if, you, if you're a Led Zeppelin fan... You've probably already seen it, but if you know anything about Led Zeppelin, you know those guys don't bow down to anybody. And for them to even remotely admit somebody did a great job with one of their songs, big, big deal. Uh, so anyway, A- minus on vocals, A on sex appeal, A on songwriting, uh, B- minus in controversy, so that is, and S in live. So pretty good all around singer. Uh, then we're gonna look at the uh, guitarist. Okay, oops. Uh, this is Giovanni Sanford. This is the male guitarist, so he would be the rhythm guitarist. Uh, he can do some songwriting, controversy, sex appeal. Uh, he can play his guitar, so that's good. The other guitarist is Thalia Pierce, which would be the Nancy Wilson of the band. Uh, A minus in guitar, creative, mainstream, uh, live, excellent, songwriting, excellent. And her and, Na her and Ann do a lot of the songwriting. Sex appeal, controversy, so very good. Uh, we have the drummer, Andrew Vega. Again, not the real name. Uh, we can uh, play the drums, songwriting, controversy, sex appeal, Live's a little bit of a letdown, but that's okay. Uh, there's still B minus all around and creative. And then lastly, the drummer. I was not going for another songwriter here, so he's not going to do that. Sex appeal, live, instruments. That's kind of what I was going for to hold down the bottom end. And so that's heart. So if we take a look at these guys, uh, right now they are recording. So what I decided to do with them is a little different from what I've done with Iron Maiden. So you know with Iron Maiden, we recorded their first album, and it wasn't very good. And so I was kind of looking over some notes that I had researched for the game, and they said, you know, I started thinking about bands, you know, all the bands that I follow, and most of these bands have had songs that they've been writing during their formative period before they signed their record deal. And some of those songs debut, you know, make, make that first album. Some don't, uh, vast majority don't as they, cause they get better as they practice, as they play live and as they develop, uh, intellectually, emotionally, you know, and, and just get a little older. 
and just do it more often. So with Heart, what we're doing is we're recording a, a, basically a, a songs. We're just getting songs together. They may We may release it as an EP, maybe just some singles, and then try to you know try to get their popularity up a little bit then we'll go back into the studio and that's when we'll record the debut album now still because we're starting off at basically zero popularity you know it's going to take a while to build this up so um there are ways to game the system you basically do this right and release singles and then write and release singles and and write and you know you just do it over and over again and if you looked back at say episode two with with iron maiden's album and some singles we got them from basically a non-existent uh to uh, an f minus to an f in certain areas of the country as they were touring and exposing people to the music so you know you just have to balance your 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 budget with what you're doing the other thing that I did is when I went in and I did the album, and you can go back and uh, look at uh, how we did Iron Maiden in the studio. As far as a producer, I let them produce their own stuff. They do have, some of them do have reasonable production values. That cost zero dollars, so that's important because you're cutting cost. Uh, also, instead of recording at uh, the British House, which was like forty thousand dollars a song, and you got a B plus rating, you know, for for uh, production. I went with one of the really small places. It's like four thousand forty dollars per song, and it's or no, I went with the one for five thousand dollars, and you get like a C minus or or you know something like that. There's another one that's like four thousand forty dollars. And it's like a D, a D minus or something. So we're going really, really on the cheap uh, with this, with this first EP, if that's what we want to call it. So anyway, they are in the studio. We are in December, so they're currently recording. Uh, they will be recording into February. So that's what's going on with those guys. Uh, then if we look at Iron Maiden and take a look at what they're doing so they're at 100 percent morale so remember we talked about morale being important to max out so they've recorded their album uh we're going to have uh their single uh their first single uh come out on monday the 16th of december we're going to do a couple of uh we're going to do five um media events which are the only five that are an option right now two in america three in the uk and then we're going to go on a short tour i've done a, t a 10 date tour uh, we do have an opening act in fact somebody wanted to open for us so we've got an opening act and we're doing dreadful production which was the next to worst uh, again we don't have the money to just throw out there and put on the big arena show uh, and then uh, we've charged this at 20 bucks a head, I think. Maybe it was 15, but I think I went 20. I decided to go 20 just to see what kind of draw or pull that we had. Uh, also, if we take a look at the set list, we've created our new set. Oh, well, I don't want a new set list. We're going to go back. We'll back out of that. Uh, let's see. Profile. songs awards discography here we go all right so uh the first one of course was iron maiden debuted at number 80 that was its highest rank uh sold 10,066 albums and prowler was the best single off of that album selling 12,292 debuted with 2,559 sales and sold a total of 10,000 albums, 22,000 singles. Uh, so Killers is coming out. Murders in the Rue Morgue is going to be the first single. Uh, I don't actually know what the singles were off of the album, so I just pulled a couple of the songs that, you know, that I chose at random. 
And I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest Iron Maiden fan. I do like them. Uh, they have they have songs, but they are not the cream of the crop as far as I'm concerned. Very talented, very good. But anyway, I just thought uh, you know they would be a good band to debut with. Uh, so anyway, that's what's going on with these guys. So here in the rest of the episode, we will be checking out the release of the album. Because again, that comes out on the 30th. And then we need a week to see that uh, come to fruition. So let's go ahead and advance a couple of weeks and see what's going on. Uh, I also turned down every single um incoming offer from outside songwriters because steve harris wrote all the band's music of course i've got multiple people writing just you know to try to get better percentages you know playing the numbers game that's that's basically what i'm doing so i'm not staying a hundred percent true just if any of you turn out to be diehard maiden fans uh, I don't want you uh, coming in and going, hey, Steve Harris wrote, writes all this shit. I get that Steve Harris writes all this shit. <laughs> but in this band, Bruce Dickinson has a voice, you know. <laughs> also, uh, we're assuming Bruce Dickinson's the lead singer. I understand that Paul was the lead singer for the first two albums. I do know a little bit about Maiden, so there you go. Uh, but And it looks like there's a way. In fact, let's go take a look in here. Uh, hello, where you at? Profile, members, singer. Uh, not that, thank you. All right, so, oh, and we actually went with a female singer, didn't we? Oh, that's a bummer. Well, Maiden, you leaving? Yeah. All right. Love you. See you tomorrow. You work till midnight? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so let's see. So, yeah, so, you know, we were just taking the best one available at that time. So we have to kind of bend reality here, guys. Work with me, all right? Uh, but it looks like you can fire them. Uh, you can form a side project with them. So, you know, uh, maybe we can fire this, this uh, Annika Beard. Maybe this turns out to be Paul uh, and we hire in a new singer. Uh, after this second album because that's when they got rid of him and brought Bruce Dickinson in uh, I don't know if I want to mess around with that I think we just go with it you know that's what I think all right um, all right the album should come out this week we'll need another week to get the first week of sales so we should get an email here about the album all right, so here we go. We did just get uh, a couple of a couple of notices. Uh, Gossip Girls, the perfect way to hold themselves. Oh, they had a concert. Uh, so let's look at the well. We'll look at the tour in a minute. Uh, well, let's look at the tour now. Damn it! All right. So we're almost done with the tour. So. How did we do? 370 out of a thousand. So we lost eight grand on that gig. So I don't know if it's the popularity, the size, the ticket price. There's really nothing I can find on that. Um, it could be the day of the week. I did the I did the auto booking on this one. Now see, we pulled 70% of this one. Only lost sixteen hundred bucks, so I think twenty dollars is about our break-even point right now. Oh, our first profitable show, ninety-six percent, seven sixty-nine out of eight hundred. Uh, we play uh, Rainy Monday is the unsigned band, so we could go look at since they're unsigned, we could go look at these guys and see if we wanted to offer them, maybe sign them to a deal. Uh, 800, I think that's a sellout, and that made 2920 bucks. So that's a uh, Rudy's is a sellout at 800. So then this night was much lower, then another sellout, then much lower. 
900 is a sellout. So 20 bucks we're actually selling out still. It's just hit and miss. Hit and miss. Uh, so, and then we have another 900 seater and a 2000 seater to close out. So I think what we're going to have to do is right now, I think a thousand seats is probably the max that we can go. So what we're going to do is probably book a second leg, look for a thousand, you know, between 800 and a thousand seats at 20 bucks a show and go with that. So let's close this. I do want to go with one more. Uh, actually, let's go back to our bands, activities. All right, so you see the morale's down. So I want to book a tour, but we want to give them some time off. So we're going to put killers on the loose. Part two. Killers being the name of the album. We're going to stay heavy in, in the U.S. We're going to go there. Uh, average ticket price is going to be... We're going to stay at 20 bucks. Uh, so, and what, what this may do is... Th I don't know if this allows us to start... Rainy Monday already came out with us. Let's bring Hold Your Breath on this leg. All right, we'll continue. All right, I want to go less than a thousand. Not many. Oh, yeah, there's a shit ton. Capacity, let's start up here at the top. Um, well, let's do 10,000. And then see, oh yeah, see there's a lot more thousands that showed up right there. See, that's not smart. All right, black. Uh, we will, let's see, I want to take, all right, here's the last day. We'll give them a couple of weeks off. So let's start here on Thursday night. Then I want to go here. And let's go to Saturday night in the Dance Out Hall in Nevada. I'm giving them a couple of days off. What I don't want to do is I don't want to rescue Dance Hall. We'll do that on Friday. I don't want to do, that's one of the reasons I don't like this short, uh, the, the Insta book is because it, uh, you saw we played four nights at the same place. That just didn't make a lot of sense. All right, we'll do a midweek here. And then we'll do a Friday, Saturday, Sunday there. And I think we'll finalize that. That's uh, that's 11 shows. You know what? Let's cap one out in California. Club Temptation looks good. Uh, we'll do that on a Wednesday. LA Spotlight Thursday. Can't hurt to be in uh, California, right? And then was there another one? Let's come back to Pub of Angels on Friday. Friday. Uh, that's too high. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with that. And let's do Chandler Plaza in Arizona on Saturday. And I think that'll be it. Boom. That works. All right. So let's close that. Uh, also, let's see, where are we at? We're on January 3rd. Third, so the album just came out, right? Activities. 
Oh, we can check the single. There we go. All right. Uh, profile, discography. Record sales. All right. So we sold 390, 203 last week. 391 total, 104,000 digital streams. So it's been on the market for two weeks. So we're doing all right there. Oh, what's the critical reception on that? Uh, oh, A minus, A minus, A minus. So they like it. They are liking it. So that's good. A brilliant record. Record of the year. Wow, that would be great. Uh, we are waiting on the album to hit. So that just hit last week. So that should give us our first week of sales here. Come on. Iron Maiden is hilarious. I was dying reading their interview on Trend. Brings down the house in California. Nice. All right. So let's see. That's uh, January 3rd. Okay. That's part two. Killers on the loose. So we ended up selling out 77%. So that's not bad. And we only lost $4,800 in 12 shows. So I like that. I like that. Now, once we get a little bigger, we might get an invitation to a festival. That would be awesome. Uh, so let's go to discography. All right, Killers has debuted at number 41. That's awesome. All right, uh, let's see. So critical rating A minus. Fans give it a B minus. It's already made $183,000. That's strong. Uh, record sales, 16,000 out of the gate. All 5,000 physical copies have sold. Um, all right, I need to go to here, manufacture. Let's do I, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm going to order 10,000. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. That's great. So we saw, I mean, I only ordered 5,000 physical copies. Development issues. So this is the type of thing that you'll get. And I, I don't think I showed any of these. So Hearts Project has run into a few unexpected bumps. They need an additional 10 grand. Uh, so yeah, we're going to continue the project. Nothing I can do there. Uh, let's go back to our band. Maiden activities. No, not activities. Profile. Discography. All right. They're number 40, uh, 41 now. Record sales. So they peaked at 63. They're 82 this week. Uh, two weeks on the chart. Uh, 28,000 sales worldwide, uh, all in America. Uh, we've sold uh, 10,000 out of our 15,000 quantity. Uh, we sold 11,000 last week. That's physical. Okay, physical is the dark purple. Digital is the light purple. So 27,000, 28,000 sold. That's how we get that number. Um, so we've got 11,000 sold this week. We've got 5,000 left. I think I'm going to go ahead and manufacture... 7,500? No? Well, I don't want to see, I don't know why. There we go, okay, I tabbed out of it, that's what I did. I was hitting enter and it wasn't working, but if you tab out of that, it'll add that in. Cool, all right, so let's, we're having some success here.